Hey y'all, welcome back. It's the Cannon Camper. We got special guest Tones this way. He's over that over there. And we got another trailer for you. Old school trailer. We're gonna go with Nicolas Cage, Snake Eyes, uh 1998 classic, one of my favorites, uh favorite movies. I've never seen the trailer. Uh, I want to see if this trailer holds. Have you seen Snake Eyes? I don't I, I doesn't sound familiar. The um I've watched Nicolas Cage before, but this movie doesn't look familiar, and I for sure didn't see the trailer. So, yeah, this no. one, this is one of those ones to me, just classic Nicolas Cage. Um, you always see this paired up with like Face Off um, or some of his other bigger shows. You know, when they do those double feature stuff. So mm -hmm. you're gonna, I'm really excited to have you watch this trailer, especially since you haven't seen it. That's awesome. I think this is great, and uh, hopefully you can, you know, give a good judgment on this trailer. And after that, maybe let's go see the movie. Yeah, my thing is, is like trailers really get you hyped up for the movie you know what i'm saying the so, tone, yeah and I, I you know doing doing this new segment that you're doing and it, it's kind of like did they have the same kind of mindset back in those days of the trailer of setting the movie up properly to you know people wanting to go out and see it and especially uh, then because you had to go to you had to go to a theater like you had to nail these trailers for people to go see them yeah. otherwise it's word of mouth i mean after that for sure exactly so i you know th that's going to be a big part of what of how things were back then to what they are now so we'll see you never know might be the same yeah and uh once again this has nicholas cage in it has carlo guigino and um just come older like uh what's his name guzman luis guzman a couple people like that so nothing crazy not a huge crazy cast but great movie uh let's get into it you ready yeah let's get it I'm on TV. Hi, Rick Santoro. Hello, oh, Richard okay. Santoro. I'm ah, Ricky! And I am the king! A pepperoni, sausage, Canadian bacon. Listen, why don't you just get the deluxe and save time, all right? Look, I got business. Call me back in five. There he is! There's the man whose life I want! <laughs> Very sincere. And now, the distinguished Secretary of Defense. Great okay. idea to put a flashing light on your head while you're at it. Why are you so tight? It's fight night! Running security at night. I got a lot on my mind. Watch carefully. That seemed right to you? Kevin, that is right in so many ways. No, I mean beautiful woman alone at a fight. A crime is about to be committed. Now listen to me, Mr. Secretary. I am telling you, you are the one that's going to be sorry. You will be a witness. And the hardest thing to spot will be the truth. I'm a homicide detective and a material witness. You can't hold 14,000 people. There's a 14,000 eyewitnesses! We have 1,500 cameras. 800 on the casino side, 720 on the hotel side. What are you looking for? There's a phantom punch! Mmm. Exactly when they wanted you to. They miss him with that second shot. Miss you. I'm betting that the redhead you follow is the same person who told Tyler to throw the fight. She's one. Shooter's two. Tyler's three. The drunk who shot the signal's four. Whoever was on the other end of that radio is five. Five people make a conspiracy, right? It sounds like he's conducting a very dangerous investigation. I'm not gonna let you kill her. Please, Ricky. You're all alone on this. The house wins. I mean, not a bad trailer. Yeah, uh, definitely interesting. You gotta remember, I mean, this is late '90s, so <laughs> everything's fucking weird at that time. Um, but yeah, what do, what do you think? What, what's your thoughts? My. Th you know, it, it's an older trailer, yes, but at the same time, it wasn't a it wasn't a bad trailer. It kind of set things up there. It did confuse me though, because I wasn't sure who the private or who the investigator was and who he was. Is he an investigator in this movie? Not he wasn't on the clock. He's there to watch the fights. Yeah, and then it turned into him being having to investigate. He is a cop. Oh, he is a cop. Okay, yeah, that, yeah. they didn't. They didn't. Make and the clear. other guy, the other guy is uh, part of the army or something. I can't remember exactly what what branch he's from, but he was there on special detail to help 
watch the fight. Yeah, so it, it, like he was setting everything up, you know, over five people is a conspiracy, and you know the phantom punch was. Uh, if if I watch this in 1998, I'm going to the movies and watching this. No, oh, 100. Yes, yeah, yes. yeah. And it had that. It has that action enough action to to draw you in. Um, mm-hmm. And once again, like says one of my favorite favorite movies, uh, Nicolas Cage movies. Um, that trailer is really good. I think if like you said, if it was if it was in the 90s, late 90s, and I saw that, and I just saw Nicolas Cage just acting like a fucking fool or acting like Nicolas Cage right in the beginning, fuck yeah. I'm like, that's what I want to see, man. Yeah. Um, do I think it holds up? Com- in comparison to the movie, I think the movie is better than the trailer. Okay. I, I think the movie is better than the trailer. I've seen it. Um, I know you haven't seen it or don't remember seeing it. I would love your opinion on this sometime in the future if you ever get around to watching it. Um, I will give this trailer probably a seven on my trailer score. Uh, what do you, what are your thoughts? Does it hold up yeah. and what score do you give it? Yeah. I mean, a seven is around the, uh, maybe like a six and a half, seven. Yeah. It, it wasn't in a mind blowing trailer, of course, but it's in that range where it's like, it, it keeps you thinking who, who could they be? Who can the killers be? Stuff like that. So yeah, I'm in that, I'm in that range, six and a half, um, as far as like Nicolas Cage, like he he's an acquired taste, of course, in my opinion. He's one of those actors. It's either you like his work or you don't like his work. I personally don't have a problem with his work. I think he's a great actor. But seeing him then compared to now could could like if I were to watch this movie then or if I were to watch this movie now, I think it would be just a different experience if I were to watch it, watched it back in 98. Yeah. But as far as like this movie, like it, the trailer set it to where I would want to go see the movie. So, yeah, perfect. Yeah, that's that. That's great. Um, like I said, once again, if you ever get down to watch it, let me know. We'll have you back on the show so we can oh, yeah. kind of give it, you know, if it, if it passes, if it holds. So, yeah, cool. Uh, let everybody know where they can find you, Tones. Yeah, guys, if you guys want to find me on social media, Tones underscore TV on all platforms. Follow my uh, YouTube channel, Bad Thought Studios, where I do movie TV show reviews, trailer reactions, uh, stuff like that. So if you're interested, Bad Thoughts Studios. And follow the podcast, Bad Thoughts Podcast with Candid Camper and I, where we pretty much just talk about some bullshit, dude. Talk about um, – we talk to actors. We talk to athletes. We talk to just a whole bunch of random people. So if you guys are interested in that, Bad Thoughts Podcast on YouTube and Spotify. Sweet. Um, thank you so much. Uh, you can find me, Candy Camper, here on the channel. You can find the Candy Camper with the XR on IG. You can find me, the Candy Camper, on the Bad Thoughts podcast with Tones. Um, and you can find me at my new UFC channel that's going to be made at some point. <laughs> You'll see. Um, also, please like and subscribe down at the link below. And if you ever want to talk about something or want me to watch a movie or a trailer, let me know in the comments below or DM me on Instagram and I will put a video out the next day if I can. So you let me know what you guys need. I'm here for y'all. Appreciate it. Thanks tones. Yes, sir. Later. Let it.